Oh, we're going on a trip, are we? Okay. Uh, I think you really ought to get out of my face because I've already gotten one restraining order today and I can easily get another one. Oh, get the girlfriend to swear to something else. I don't think so. Sit down. Sit down. You've done enough damage for one day. As a matter of fact, you've done enough damage for a lifetime, <clears throat> even a short one. Like sticking that needle in my neck, hiring that nurse to help you. As a matter of fact, where'd you stash the body, anyway? Pretty neat job for an amateur. But see, the thing is, uh, with amateurs, eventually they screw up, like using me as a victim. That was an error in judgment because, see, you usually pick on kids who can't fly back or women who are too dumb and too needy to know better when they're being used. But see me, I'm an old hand at fighting back. I'm used to taking care of scum like you. So if I were you, I'd think twice about that uh, travel arrangement you made. Because I don't think it's safe to leave the premises. Of course, you know, I, I do understand that, what you call it, wonderlust? A yen for fresh air and new horizons? You want, you really want to go go and see if you can get that, that, that heroin you stashed. Where, where, where was that, anyway? I've already told the cops that I don't know anything about any heroin. They're looking at the wrong guy. Oh, right. <laughs> wrong, wrong guy, yeah. It, it, it was probably just that one time when you, when you, uh, gave Emily's pal, you know, some of that stuff. But you're a friend of the family. You needed to share, 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 right? Hmm. You've been speaking with Monica. Apparently, no one has informed you of the fact that she's stark raving mad. Oh, you think so? W were, were you going to, to tie me up and, and give me a lobotomy also? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she did that? Uh, I like Monica, you know. But see, I don't, I don't, I'm not in the mood for lobotomy. But I know a couple of guys who love to give it a shot. As a matter of fact, I already told them about you. So, <clears throat> a word to the wise. Mm -hmm. You ignore my friendly warnings and leave this apartment. Don't blame me if you don't get where you're going. Whatever. If there's a window we can get out of, you guys underneath it. Mm -hmm. And when we find them? Keep them covered. Keep them cornered. Let me know. No rough stuff. No illegal searches. You understand what I'm saying? All right, now. Dorman's not going to want to be in there too long. Go. 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 Whatever you think you're doing, call it off and clear the hell out of here. Because I don't want you in my way. Or oh, in my face. What, you, you throw me uh, out of outdoors? What are you doing here, then? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm waiting for somebody. You waiting to jump Pierce Dorman when he walks out of here with a bundle of smack under his arm? Nah. Since the hospital is the only place left that he could uh, possibly hide in it. And it's going to happen, all right. But the police are going to be doing it, not the mob. You got all exits covered? What, I look like an idiot to you? I don't, I'm not going to answer that. Why don't, you, why don't you just see me and my guys as your unofficial backup? Well, I'm not Max Scorpio. I'm a little bit more particular of when and if I need a helping hand. This guy tried to kill me. He shot me full of heroin. His partner.
try to bury Brenda and me, not to mention his other escapades with various other people who have to do with me. Now, if you think I'm gonna walk away, you're wrong. Well, then I just arrest you. You always say that. You know, I seem to remember doing it, too. Well, I don't think you're gonna do it. You know why? Because unless I don't... Unless I'm reading you wrong, you want him as bad as I do. And when it comes down to it, you know my guys can do things to him. Your guys can't. Just as long as you know that you are skating on thin ice. Yeah, yeah, I know. If something goes wrong, you got me to blame. Here at the hospital, he wouldn't bring anything here. He wouldn't dare do that. He dared. We tailed him here. Now he's desperate to grab the stuff and get out. Yeah. Wait a minute. All of the Quartermains are here. They're in with Emily. If Pierce sees any of them, he might freak out and try and get rid of the drugs, right? Yeah, right. Then, then, then we're back to the where we started. Okay, look at... Somebody's got to tell Quartermains to get out. I can't do it, because then Dorman's gonna know I tailed him. I'll do it. Hydrocodone is a very effective, commonly used analgesic. Hydrocodone is used for pain. Are you in physical pain? Alan, how long have you been taking those? Excuse me, who's the doctor here? It's just that it turns out that I was addicted to those. What are you suggesting? I'm just concerned for you. I think you're being extremely presumptuous. This is all absurd. Oh, I've got better I'm things to do. I'm sorry. Listen, it's... I, I just know that you, your family needs you right now. You what did you need from me, Amy? Nothing. I got Dr. Sweeney. Sorry. Your information happens to be that I had an operation on my hand, and I re-injured it before I was fully recuperated. How long ago was that? Is your hand back to him? It's going to be just fine as soon as I put it on Pierce Dorman's throat. He didn't really mean that. Yeah, well, this is all going to be over if I find Dorman first. 